Hello and welcome to SBL Mixing. I'm so sorry for not posting more regularly. It has been a crazy time for me. But uh, here I am with a quick update just regarding the uh, Pro Tools updates that have just come through in the last few days. So sorry if you're using another DAW. This is just for Pro Tools users. What I'm particularly excited about is the little additions that they've made to Pro Tools middle tier, which is previously called just Pro Tools or Pro Tools native and it's now called Pro Tools Studio. The exciting changes for me, I would have to say, are the addition of something called Clip Effects, which was only previously available in Pro Tools Ultimate, now called Pro Tools Flex. I don't know why it's called Pro Tools Flex. Perhaps the uh, people at Avid are spending too much time in the gym, but whatever, whatever the case, I'm happy that I've got now Clip Effects, which if you want to reveal them after you've done the update to whatever version this is, I think it's 2020 two point something or other. All you do is uh, after you've updated it in your account to access this panel, there's two ways to do it. One is the shortcut. The shortcut I just used then was Alt and Keypad 6. If that doesn't work for you because you're on a Mac, you can use the Option 6. Okay, and that just toggles that. The other way to do it is just to click between here. So you get the universe view or you get the clip effects. So what the heck are clip effects? They're pretty much what they sound like. So I can click on basically any single clip and I can apply EQ, filters, dynamics. And that all happens prior to it coming into the inserts. So the cool thing about this and one of the big advantages uh, in my workflow and probably you too is because Pro Tools still doesn't have a phase flip on the actual channels themselves. If you've got a continuous kick drum track or something like that and you want to flip the polarity, you can do it straight from the clip effects. And the other cool thing is that you can obviously EQ. If say I wanted a different sound in this particular part of the song, I can say, you know what, I want to turn on the filters here and I want to have a highly filtered section for just a tiny amount. I don't have to duplicate the track. I don't have to have multiple tracks to do that. It will all be encompassed in that and as you'll see if I click over here those two filters are gone and just to show what that sounds like. Let's make that a bit more extreme shall we? Just for those using uh, using the iPhones. So you can see that we've got access to filters. It just means you don't have to mult a lot of tracks out. It means you can have an EQ that's different in this part of the song to this part of the song, and it doesn't need to be spread out across multiple tracks. So that's cool, and obviously, you know, I love the polarity switch. Just the usefulness of that and not having to instantiate a plugin in order to do that. The other thing I should mention is that because these are clip effects, every time you change, say, the polarity, it will tell you over here that something's changed. Basically what this is doing, it's, it's very quickly rendering these changes very much similar to how it would do it if you were doing it in here. So if you brought up, say, the channel strip, it's basically the same EQ and you're just rendering those changes in. But it doesn't change the waveform, as you can see. So it still looks the same, it tells you that it's EQ'd. And of course, if you want to check what's on it, you just need to click on the uh, Duvalaki there. If you want to reset it really quickly, you can go up to Clip Gain Effects and Clear and that takes them all off if you want to copy them. So for example, I want to copy this one, say I make an EQ change here that I really like and I want to copy it over here. So what you want to do is you go clip effects, copy, and then there's no paste option there, which is a bit annoying, but it's actually up here, just so you're aware. Paste clip effects, and then that pastes the same information. Very useful updates, which we've had in other doors, I'm sure, and it's great that it's now available to the middle tier people uh, like myself that are just doing mixing or they're just doing simple recordings. It's great. What if, for example, you didn't have access to the keypad to do that shortcut. Well, the other update that came through was we've now got customizable keyboard shortcuts. So 
if you want to go in and change I'm not going to change anything because I don't want to mess anything up but as you can see I've done a, a search here for clip effects because the only other way that I figured out how to turn it on was to go up to here and I really rely heavily on shortcuts and I don't tend to change them from the default ones because I've spent so long using them and the last thing I want to do is go to another studio and find that you know someone's just using the standard shortcuts I like to keep it simple and you know if there's anything that I want to customize that's a great option but the cool part for me was that I could actually search for show clip effects and there it is there okay and obviously you can change it and this little checkbox here is so that you can have single key shortcuts if you like so if I wanted to say edit this I could edit it and it would tell me if there's a conflict I can reset it it's great that they've got a searchable database of shortcuts now the only key now is to figure out what you need to search for so <laughs> that's going to be the other challenge it's always been shortcuts that I couldn't find uh, but hopefully this will help speed up things, especially when I want to you know, find that one shortcut just to, when you don't use them for long, you forget them. This is a great way of finding them again. That's clip effects. The other thing too, which I haven't yet gotten into, the fact that we've got Dolby. Now, I am going to probably look into this a little bit more. We've now got access to basically everything that you could do with Dolby Atmos. So that's cool. And that's uh, previously also available in Pro Tools Ultimate. Now there are some really cool features in Pro Tools Ultimate or what is now known as Pro Tools Flex, which we still don't have. Some of them probably work a little bit better on a console. So they're designed for the really big studios, but yeah, I, I couldn't be happier with that. So there's just a, a little bit of a look at clip effects. Obviously, you know, you could do dynamics as well if you wanted to, you know, it's all based on the channel strip. Looks like there's an expander gate as well. One thing I don't like is that, you know, you've got these kind of draggable things. I like the knobs, you know, like my eyesight's not the best uh, all the time. So I don't know, I, I don't like the way they've laid it out, but it's a step in the right direction. The cool thing is that this is undoable. So if you make a change, you can go back and change it in the clip effects. It's not rendered into the track like it is here. And I think it's a great addition. Hopefully they keep adding more and more stuff like this. I shall look into the Dolby Atmos. I'm hearing good, good things about it. I work in stereo. I don't have 7.1 point whatever. It's <laughs> I'm definitely a long way off being able to afford that, but definitely a cool addition. So if you haven't already, go and upgrade to the next version of Pro Tools and you'll get that in your update plan. Thank you for watching and happy mixing. Thank mm -hmm. you.